Dear friends in Christ, on this weekend, as we look forward to seeing you at the Divine Service to receive God's gifts this Sunday, we consider one of the more well-known phrases from Ecclesiastes, for everything there is a season, from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up what is planted time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time of love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time for peace. What gain has the worker from his toil? I have seen the business that God has given to the children of man to be busy with. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He Also, he has put eternity into man's heart, yet so that he cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. There's much wisdom here. This phrase, for everything there is a season, for a time, for every matter under heaven, was made into a song by the birds back in the 60s, and now I'm dating myself. Basically, Solomon is affirming what the church has always affirmed. There's a time for the law, and there's a time for the gospel. Sometimes we weep, sometimes we laugh. That is what life is like. God has indeed made everything beautiful in its own time. He has put eternity in our heart. We know that we're here more for just this earthly life. We can never find out what God has done, but we must live in the seasons that he gives us. For sometimes we are born and sometimes we die. Sometimes we plant, sometimes it is pulled up. We live under both the law and the gospel. And so let us pray. Eternal Lord God, hear our prayers for your servants who suffer in this earthly tent. Do not let them lose heart, but fix their eyes upon what is transient to the things unseen. By this slight momentary affliction, prepare them for an eternal way to glory, beyond all comparison, when at last you will raise us with Jesus and bring us with you into his presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As Satan once overcame our first parents through the eating of the tree's fruit, So overcome him now among us by the fruit of your son's cross, his body and blood given and shed for us for the forgiveness of sins. Bless all who commune this weekend with repentance and faith that in the comfort of the gospel they may be cleansed and prepared for eternal life with you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. What was lost in paradise has been regained by the conquering wounds of your son, crucified and raised again. In him again we are restored as your children. Make bold that we would ask for everything that we need. Hear us for the sake of his name, even Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. To everything there is a season.